Here we see as an example the temple of the Dalai Lama and the work steps that are necessary to derive a virtual 3D model from a video. In this example, we use photogrammetry to do this. With photogrammetry, we try to derive the structure from a set of photos showing a rigid object from all sides and thus create a virtual copy of the object. In videogrammetry, we use videos for this and in a first step, select the important images required for the reconstruction, the so-called keyframes, from the large number of individual images in the video. The program JKeyframer, for example, can be used for this. We then start the pose estimation, which derives 3D points in space from the 2D features of the images. We can merge the resulting point cloud into a mesh and visualize it texturally using various methods from computer graphics. The Reality Capture program was used for this purpose. At the ECCV conference in 2020, a method known as NERFs was presented that can be used to represent 3D scenes using neural networks. The article from 2021 has already been cited over 10,000 times and represents a milestone in computer graphics. There are now numerous apps that offer the process, including Luma AI. Here we see a small impression of the possibilities from the Luma website. The NERF method uses the result that we have generated after the pose estimation as input data for a neural network. So there is a set of photos and the relative positioning of the images in relation to each other with respect to an object. However, instead of continuing to work with the point cloud like in photogrammetry, the neural network now trains the images in relation to the geometric information that is available. For example, it learns to recognize the areas in front of inside and behind the object from each image. It also learns the colors that can be found at the various locations in the room. In the second step, the trained neural network can synthesize images that are known, but also those that can be seen from unknown positions. This represents a new type of visualization. Let's take a look at the comparison of both visualizations for the specific example. The same image set was used for both models. On the left, we see a part of the model represented by its points, surfaces, and textures on these surfaces. On the right, we see a video recording from the Luma website. Both results are to be evaluated very differently. On the left, we see the concrete measurable points and the result of the points identified in space. On the right, we see an interpolation of the photos from different angles. This also gives us the context of the actual 3D points, which can certainly provide great added value when interpreting the data it remains to be seen whether this visualization technique will establish itself in 3D documentation.